the wonderful spring of Mickey Mouse got off to a really great start and that put me in a really good mood. The reason that that's something that I want to highlight is because when I watched The Wonderful Winter of Mickey Mouse and I reviewed that previously, the first segment didn't really speak to me. So I was in a bit of a dodgy mood, if you like, as I continued to watch it. But straight away with Spring, the first segment was incredible. The second segment, not as engaging, but the third one, really a lot of fun and full of Easter eggs. So this is obviously about um, springtime. And I will say I did some research about this um, this short after watching it and there are so many Easter eggs that I did not pick up on on the first short, on the first watch, sorry. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. So I'm definitely going back to re-watch it and find out more. With this first short, the characters are all bits of nature. Goofy is a caterpillar. Minnie Mouse kind of represents a strawberry. I don't know what Daisy is meant to be. Donald Duck is a bunch of grapes. And up high in the sky is this bright sun, shining sun. And this bright sun is Dopey. Dopey's face is the sun. I thought that was beautiful. Um, he, he suits it really well. Kind of reminds me of the Teletubby baby face. But I think it's an absolutely fantastic little um, use of that character. And everything's going really well. It's springtime. It's sunny. But as we know, spring weather can be very intermittent. And the weather takes a nasty turn and some things begin to happen to the characters. I think it's a very cute um, use of the characters. We have obviously Mickey looking very cute as this little plant. I'm not entirely sure what he's meant to be. Um, Donald with his little grape outfit is adorable. Daisy I believe is a flower of some kind. She's dressed in pink. Clarabelle Cow is there. Um, Goofy of course is there. Several other characters as well who I won't name. Um, I think I spotted Felix at one point, but I could be wrong about that. Um, no, Felix, um, Oswald, but I'm not 100% confident about that. But I had a lot of fun with it. I think it's quite cute, and I really enjoyed it. With the second one, it was quite interesting. Um, everybody is gardening, and by everybody I mean Minnie, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. And Minnie and Mickey are having a lovely time doing topiary and, you know, being among the flowers and Minnie's got a flower in her hair and everything is beautiful. But things are going disastrously wrong for Goofy and Donald. Donald is having a battle against some bees and Goofy is, um, I think Goofy has hay fever. I think that's what they were trying to get this across. Um, there's a lot of pollen around. Chip and Dale are there. There's a particular young girl who has a cameo. I won't say which character that is, but there is a specific Disney character cameo in this one that's worth looking out for. Uh, quite a few others as well. I'll look at the bag of seeds. You'll see a particular character there. I really thought it was okay. I didn't think it was bad, but I felt like it... It could have been a little bit more interesting, but certainly the love that we get from Minnie and Mickey as chaos is going on all around them, but they're just focusing on their love and their relationship and, you know, how that is blossoming and growing as spring is. It's beautiful. It's it's very, very sweet. And then Tigger bounces us into the final section where Mickey is basically being told that he has to spring clean. And he goes into this cupboard that he has and it is full of mess and there's chaos everywhere and he relives some memories we get to see certain things from um, what those possessions mean but what's very interesting is that a lot of the items in this very messy cupboard that he is trying to spring clean are Disney related Easter eggs from various different shows and films there is a snow globe with a Cheshire cat in there is a um, uh, waffle grill with the shape of Mickey's head on it. All of these things are things that you can actually buy, of course. And then there are all kinds of um, objects that actually come directly from various Disney films. And there is no way I picked up on them all. I've looked at some of the information online and kind of shocked myself that I missed some of them, to be perfectly honest. I mean, how did I miss the Mickey Mouse Pez dispenser, for goodness sake? It is phenomenal and definitely needs another watch because it's just 
Disney fandom perfection. The amount of detail that is in this, the amount of effort that has gone into the animation is amazing. It just makes me feel so giddy inside having this much Disney in one place. So I will, without question, be going back to watch that and I truly adore it. Out of the three segments, definitely my favourite. The first segment is my second favourite and the middle segment is my last favourite. However, I think all three of the segments are better than The Wonderful Winter of Mickey. I definitely suggest that you give this a watch if you are a fan of Disney. You will adore it, particularly the Easter eggs. I would love to know what you spot the first time you watch it. Do you see any props in Mickey's cupboard from any of your favourite films? There was one from my favourite Disney film that I actually missed, which is terrible of me, but I won't say what it is. I don't want to spoil it. If you haven't seen The Wonderful Spring of Mickey, uh, I definitely suggest you check it out. It's glorious. It's good fun. It's brightly coloured most of the time. Great mix of characters and Easter eggs. Fantastic, phenomenal attention to detail, especially in that last segment of the three of them. It's just absolutely astounding. I don't know how long it took for them to animate this, but certainly however long it took it was time very well spent i truly adore it please check it out and let me know what you think i'm pretty confident that you're going to love it too <laughs>